it is Saturday. That means we're going to be doing some running today. We're going to pair some 800 meter runs with some front squats, with some dumbbell snatches. Exciting stuff. 200 meter warm up run. Then we're going 30 seconds per position. Single dumbbell deadlifts. So feet are narrow, dumbbells out to the side, touch just in front of the toes, single head the dumbbell touches the floor, 30 seconds on each side. Then we're gonna move the dumbbell between the legs, widen up the stance, and then we're doing Russian swings with a single dumbbell. That means we're just swinging from between the hips to eye level, 30 seconds each side. Then we'll uh, clean the barbell to the shoulder on the last rep, and then we're doing strict press. Keep the thighs, stomach, and butt locked out. And then we're just pressing straight up overhead, getting the arm extended at the top of each rep. Finally, single dumbbell goblet squat. Hold the dumbbell in front of the chest, pass through a full depth squat, heels stay down, knees are out so they're tracking above the feet. Full depth on every rep. Then knock out your barbell warm up. And then we'll use our dumbbell for a little bit of stretching. Do a dumbbell ankle stretch. You'll set up in a lunge, place the dumbbell on top of the lower thigh, just above the knee. And then you're actively pushing down on that dumbbell, driving the knee forward. Rebecca's showing this ankle dorsiflexion. We wanna be able to keep the heel on the ground with the knee a few inches in front of the uh, toe. This helps a lot with your squatting movements, especially front squat, pistols, overhead squat, those more advanced uh, squatting variations. Then we're gonna do a goblet squat hold, just like we did in the warm up, except we're just gonna hang out at the bottom. Hold that goblet squat position for 45 seconds. You can use your elbows to drive the knees out or get a little more core engagement by keeping the elbows uh, not making contact with the thighs. Saturday's workout is highs and lows. Four time, 21 barbell front squats. 135 for men, 95 for ladies. Loose grip on the barbell. Let's us keep our elbows up as we descend through the squat. Rebecca, show us when uh, your elbows drop or your midline starts to go. We don't wanna let ourselves start dropping the elbows and leaning forward. So chest is tall, elbows are high. Keep that core engaged. After your 21 reps, we're going 42 alternating single dumbbell power snatches. The dumbbell touches both heads to the ground between the feet in a single motion, stand tall and press that dumbbell overhead. If this is a heavy dumbbell, you can treat this more like a power snatch where you actually dip under the dumbbell and then extend by standing up. After your 42 reps, we're gonna go 800 meter run. When you return, we are doing some more front squats, some more snatches. Uh, 30 or 15 and 30 and then 9 and 18 uh, should be a nice long workout uh, have a great for the home gym variation we're going to replace the front squats with single arm dumbbell clusters the dumbbell starts between the feet we're going to do a squat clean to the shoulder and then press the dumbbell overhead in one motion we're going to switch hands every rep so the workout is going to be three rounds 20 alternating single arm dumbbell squat clean thrusters followed by a 800 meter run. Saturday's body armor is gonna be three sets of nine of a Bulgarian split squats on each leg. Prop your foot behind you in that lunge, but the back foot's gonna be on a box or bench. You're gonna sink down. You don't have to touch the back knee to the floor, but we wanna get the front leg to about 90 degrees at the knee. You're trying to push off that back leg, squeezing the glutes at the top. So you can do these unweighted, but if you're comfortable, add a little bit of loading. Grab a barbell or dumbbell or kettlebell, hold it on the shoulder or in a front rack position, and then perform the same motion. Try and get that front knee to about 90 degrees, driving through that back foot as you press up to extension. After you do your three sets of nine, we're gonna to go to a barbell. We'll perform three sets of 12 Romanian deadlifts. On the Romanian deadlift, we start and finish at the top of the rep. So we stand up and then we lower to about mid shin under control, but we do not touch on the ground. So we're keeping constant tension on the hamstrings as we descend through that range of motion. And then finally, we'll finish with three sets of 16 alternating pistols single leg squats. If you have the uh, ankle flexibility, you can do these uh, on the ground 
We're trying to get the hip below the knee, just like a regular squat, or you can wear your lifters or prop your heel on a set of plates behind you. Keeping your heel down helps us engage the hamstring and posterior chain, uh, helping us engage more muscles and support the knee a little bit better rather than um, having to do these on the toes. Have a fun Saturday, guys. Thanks for watching.